The next stage, I'm going to mark out the slots um, where I'm going to cut those slots uh, to insert my phone. Um, if you wanted to use this as a different object, then you could do what you want with it, drill holes in it, make it a little coat hook, or whatever you might want to do. Um, but in this particular instance, we want to cut out some uh, little slots. So I'm going to take my steel rule, um, and I'm just going to line it up against the back of my object, back of my component. So both sides of my steel rule are in line with those two parts of the back here. Once done that, I'm going to draw a straight line across both sides. And that means I know that that side and that side are equidistant from the very end, which is quite helpful because um, then I know what's going on. So you can see my lines that I've just put on here and here. Now, once I've done that, um, I would measure my phone and work out how big my gap needs to be. And I would line this up like this by eye and just see where my line is and just double check whether it's the right distance. And then I would draw my line here. To double check that, I would just measure the distance between those two, measure the distance between those two, and just check that they're the same. I'm happy with that. What I'm going to do next is mark down my piece of wood so I know how, where I'm going to put my line. And obviously that tri square right up against that piece of wood, make sure it's nice and straight, line it up. It can be a bit awkward because obviously it's curved. I'm going to go about halfway, and again this side. About halfway, continue round. This one here, heading downwards. And what I want to do now is I want to mark out how far down I want to cut. So I'm going to do that with a marking gauge. And I want to go about halfway. Now I know that halfway is going to be about 10 millimeters, but I want to take off slightly less. So once again, setting up my marking gauge, use my thumb to push it up and down like this, set it up in the right place on the right measurement, right at the very end of the pin to be nine. Once I check it, it's 10. I'm just gonna tap that up a bit. And now I'm happy with that being nine. Okay, it's done that. Place it against the top edge that I've been marking with. Just run that around very gently like that. Same thing here very gently along here. So hopefully those will be the same. Pop your pencil marking in here, this pencil marking in here. Cross hatch a bit you want to get rid of. And then I'll start cutting, but you'll notice I haven't marked on the inside. It's just a bit too awkward to mark the inside, so I'm not going to bother. And then we'll move on to cutting.